Lastly, we're going to talk about shifting. And when we shift, we can either shift up or down, or we can shift right or left. When we're looking at up-down shifting, the way to shift up or down is to add or subtract a value to all of our outputs. So let's say we want to shift up by 20 units. Then we take our original function f of x and we add 20 to all the outputs. So we get x minus or x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 4, and at the very end, plus 20. Graphically, we get the red graph, which is just a vertical shift of the black graph up 20 units. Okay, what if we wanted to shift down? And you can see here, it's defined as f of x plus 20. Well, let's say we wanted to shift down. It's a similar process, but instead, we would subtract. So let's shift down by 15 units. Then we take f of x minus 15. We get x plus 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 4. And at the very end, minus 15. And that will give us the pink graph. So here, we've shifted the black graph down by 15 units. And again, if you're really curious, you can see that, oh, no, we shifted 30. That was my fault. Oh yeah, it is 30. So we could easily go back and just change that shift to a minus 30. And in fact, that is how this was defined. Okay, so just like we saw that we can shift up or down, we can also shift right or left. Now again, because we're messing with the input, this is a little bit backwards since we always define functions by y equals, which is defining them in terms of their output. Let's say we want to shift right. Then we need to subtract that value. So let's shift right by five units. Then our new function will be f of x minus five, which is x minus five plus three, x minus five minus one, x minus five minus four. We end up with x minus two, x minus six, and x minus nine. And so what you should realize right away <coughs> is that this new function g will have three new roots which we should expect since we are shifting this graph to the right. Well, let's look. We end up with the teal graph, which does in fact have roots at two, six, and nine. So we've shifted the whole thing to the right by five units. All right, if we want to shift to the left, let's say we want to shift by three units. then we're going to subtract a negative 3, which is the same as adding a positive 3. Which gives us x plus 3 plus 3, x plus 3 minus 1, x plus 3 minus 4, x plus 6, x plus 2, x minus 1. Again, we have new roots. And graphically, we get the dark blue one, which does in fact have roots at positive 1, negative 2, and negative 6.